We've traveled 30 kilometers north of Lexington to beautiful Rafine, Virginia. Let's head inside and talk to John Siegfried, the miller and owner of Wade's Mill. Welcome to Wade's Mill. Uh, this, is, this is the oldest continually operating grist mill in the Shenandoah Valley. Uh, the earliest documentation of a mill being in this location is 1750. It was built by a gentleman, a gentleman named uh, Captain Joseph Kennedy. Um, and then the Wade family got the mill uh, around 1880, and they had it until 1990. Uh, we bought the mill four years ago uh, in 2016. It's always been a continually operating grist mill. We grind corn, wheat, uh, spelt, um, a few heirloom ancient grains. And on Saturday and Sunday mornings, generally we, uh, the first people that are here at the mill help us start the water wheel. Um, and we have a retail shop here. We have an online shop. We thought uh, we would pretend that this was a Saturday, a Saturday morning and we'll go ahead and start the water wheel. Watch your head as you're coming out here. So all the water, all the water uh, that we use for running the water wheels coming down this pipe. It's coming up right here. And this, this paddle here is effectively the on off switch for the, for the mill. And so now this box is gonna fill up with water up until uh, 1930. The water, this mill, this box was the mill race. It extended all the way across to the side of the hill over there. Now I need to hop back inside the mill. So now, now we've got water going out over the wheel, but I need to move the wheel just a little bit. So I do that by pulling on this, pulling on the main drive belt. And this belt runs to the third floor and runs It's now running a lot of the equipment in the mill, but there's now grain elevators right here. Um, grain elevators that would have carried grain uh, up to the third and fourth floors. This would have carried ground material. This, uh, this equipment here is effectively the packing plant that you're looking at. Um, so after the equipment, after the uh, product went up to the third floor, got separated, it would come down into this packing plant and be bagged or barreled. So most, most uh, flour in this mill all the way up into the 20s was uh, put into barrels, 200 pound barrels. This old equipment here, these are sifters. So the third floor was always the sifting floor. Everything was milled, milled down below, brought up by the grain elevator into these sifters, separated. This is where you separated the bran and the germ from the white flour. White flour would then go through the floor into that packing plant that you saw earlier. Here we are in the, in the guts of the operation effectively. These, these, um, these old gears were put in place by the Wades around 1880 when they bought the mill and upgraded it to this technology. We, we provide to a lot of the restaurants that are local to Charlottesville, Stanton, Lexington. There's a real farm to table movement and lots of people are trying to source their, a lot of their raw materials locally. Thanks very much.